In this video, we are going to configure a site-to-site -site VPN tunnel between an AWS VPC and a Cisco ASA. So in the AWS console, we'll configure the VPN connection. Um, some prerequisites for this are, of course, your VPC has to be created, so your subnets, your IGW, and your attached VGW. So we go and Create VPN connection. Give it a name. Site to site. Uh, the type is going to be a virtual private gateway, and then you're going to choose your VPC VGW. Uh, customer gateway, we're going to do new, and the IP address is going to be the public IP of the other side, the other device, either, so this would be the Cisco ASA public IP. BGP, I'm not using BGP. Um, you can just leave that as default. And the routing options, because we're not using BGP, we're using the policy based VPN tunnel on SA. Uh, it's going to be static. And you don't need to put any routes there, it'll automatically do that. Same thing for the pre shared keys and advanced options. Just click Create VPN Connection. All right, let's take a look. So the state is pending. While it is pending, though, you can download the configuration here. And we're using a Cisco. Uh, ASA 5500 series software 9.x download. Say that. Close the window. Okay, here's the <coughs> file I downloaded from AWS, the config file that they automatically generate for you. Um, you open it up. And things we're going to need to substitute are listed here. And you could do something like a search and replace for your specific config. So for instance, you could search and replace this text for the interface name on our ASA. Mine happens to be outside um, ACL. Mine is outside access in without these arrows, uh, surrounding arrows here. Same thing with this. I use that same name without the arrows. VPC subnet. So this config is on the Cisco ASA side of the tunnel. So these settings here would match up to your AWS VPC range. Mine is 192.168.2.0 slash 24. So I substitute that out and the local sub this is the ASA side. So I am using a 10.100 slash 16 range. 
SLA monitor address. This is to keep the VPN tunnel up. So the ASA is going to like constantly ping this IP and the IP should be something that will, will reply to pings on the other side of the tunnel. And it could be like a EC2 instance in your AWS VPC. So you go down and file and replace those variables, um, like the outside interface was here and I put outside because that matches up to my ASA. <coughs> um, and then here I put my VPC IP range there. So just go through this file and replace those variables I talked about. Here is the SLA monitor variable. And you probably will need this NAT exemption or no NAT. Um, so the object source net, this is the ASA side. You're going to put the subnet IP information there. And this object AMZN, you're going to put the VPC IP range there. And you can leave this line though. The other thing I did do was I'm not using this AMZN filter. So you could deny it's it's gonna allow all traffic by default, but if you put some information here, it will block or allow only specific ranges. You can set that up, but I didn't use that. Um, <clears throat> after you do that, uh, paste it into your Cisco ASA, and we'll look at testing if the tunnel came up. We do need to create some routes from the AWS VPC to the other side of the tunnel through the ASA. So go into your route tables. <coughs> uh, you click on this routes tab here. And I'll actually, we're going to use route propagation. And I used to be able to just add a stack route to the VGW, but for some reason that wasn't working for me right now. Um, so I'm going to use route propagation. What we need to do is on your site to site VPN connections, you go into this static routes tab right here, edit. Add another rule, and this is going to be the network uh, behind the ASA side. And save that. And then, you know, then we're going to go to the route tables and use route propagation. So edit route propagation from your VGW and check this box to enable route propagation and we go back to our route table and it should have that there it is uh, propagated yes from our VGW which is the site to site VPN and we'll take a look at verifying everything is working all right so you paste it in your config and you can try to generate some interesting traffic that should hit the VPN policy and then check the status of the tunnel. Show crypto wise can I say there's nothing there so my might need to need to generate <coughs> interesting traffic trust packet tracer input inside CMP my this side of the VPN tunnel and 
get something on the other side. Drop. If you run it again, you think you have to run it twice. Yeah, now it says allow. Let's check the tunnel. So this is the state you want to be in, MM active. And the other thing you want to check now is by directional traffic over the VPN tunnel. Let's show crypto IP sec SA. I'm gonna check the end caps, D caps. It's saying one zero right now, but that might be, I need to ping. So that was a host on the other side of the tunnel and we should see the end cap, D caps, not zero there. And we've got 65, so. Tunnel is up, it's two-way traffic. That's the end of this config. Another check you can do is on the AWS side, you could go to your site-to-site -site VPN connections and look at tunnel details and you want to see the status is up. And this IP should um, match up to your Cisco ASA. Uh, what crypto ice show crypto ice camp SA is saying? Um, and yeah, this second tunnel is always going to be down if you're doing the Cisco VPN tunnel. Um, you, they, you can't do two tunnels at the same time um, with matching the same traffic. Um, so that's it for this video. Let me know if I missed anything or you need help troubleshooting or if you have a request for another video. Thanks.